Hey, I'm Kai from ML Sound Lab, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Miko 2 plugin for all of the most common use cases. Once you've added the free version to your cart and checked out, you'll be able to download this zip file. Unzip the file and you'll see two installer links. If you're on Mac, run the installer link that ends with .pkg. If you're on Windows, run the installer that ends with .exe. After you've run this installer, you should find the standalone application in your Applications folder on Mac, or your Program Files folder on PC. If you're running Miko 2 in your door, your door should automatically scan for plugins on startup. If you can't find Miko 2 in the list, you may need to rescan for plugins using one of the methods in the description box below. Firstly, let's show you how to set it up with AMP sims in your door. For this example, I use our free Amped Roots plugin. Firstly, you want to add a new audio track and set the audio input to be the correct input of your interface. In the insert section of your track, you'll want to add your amp sim of choice, which I'm going to choose the Amped Roots plugin. You'll want to disable your cabinet section. So in Amped, this is the cabinet tab. Select bypass and then drag the mix slider all the way to the bypassed cab. After that, you want to add an instance of Miko 2 after your amp sim. Now hit record enable and input monitoring on your track and you should be able to hear your guitar running through the amp and then into Miko 2. Next I'm going to show you a little hack to chain a standalone amp plugin into the standalone Miko 2. Firstly you're going to need to download Existential Audio Black Hole 2 channel to make this work. Once you've done that, open up your amp sim of choice. I'm going to pick amp roots again. In the options menu, you're going to want to set your input to be your interface and your output to be the black hole 2 channel. Again, we're going to need to disable the cabinet section. So we'll hit bypass and then drag the mix slider all the way to the left. After that, you want to open up your Miko 2 app. Now head to the options menu in Miko 2, select your input to be the black hole 2 channel and your output to be your interface. Next, we're going to set it up using digital modelers. Now this is going to vary slightly from device to device since most digital modelers are capable of being used as audio interfaces. If your modeler is being used as an audio interface, you'll need to send a cabless amped signal to one of the digital outputs. Your device's manual should teach you how to do this. Once you've done this, open up your door and set your input and output device to be your digital modeler. Then when you create a new track, set the input of that track to the cabless signal you sent earlier. Then add an instance of Miko 2 to your track, enable the record enable and the input monitoring and you should be good to go. If you want to use your digital modeler with the standalone Miko 2, the same concept applies. Just set the input of Miko 2 to be the cabless digital signal you created earlier. Then set your output to the main stereo output of your modeler. Lastly, I'll show you how to set it up with a preamp pedal or a real amp. It is absolutely imperative at this point that if you're using a real amp, you must do so with a load box to prevent damaging your equipment. Since I don't have any real amps here, I'll be using my Moore Preamp Model X2 for this. You'll want to run your cabless amped signal into your audio interface. If you're using it in your door, create a new track with the input set to the input you're plugged into on your interface. Hit create then add an instance of Miko 2 to your track. If you're using it with a real amp or preamp pedal in the standalone, head to the options menu and then set the input and output device to be your audio interface. Select your input channel to be the one you've actively plugged into and then disable any others. Now this should be all of the main use cases covered, but if there's anything you're still stuck with, let us know in the comment section below and we'll happily help you out. 